in North Carolina. First time homesteaders Ashley and Harrison have made it through the winter with hard work. I'm gonna start a fire. Okay. And a lot of help getting a handle on the essentials, heat, shelter, food, and water. The water's been a huge help. We just, we're not having to hike down. It's not taking half our day. I mean, we've, we've been able to do so much more lately. Winter has been extremely hard. We wouldn't have made it without Eustace. Eustace has taught us a very unique thing which is how to provide that for ourselves, these very essential things to our life. Well, now that spring has arrived, it's time to graduate from basic survival to sustainability. Ashley and I, we have expenses building up. Eustace is gonna help us use our land to provide a source of income. Eustace is an expert at turning a raw mountain wilderness into a home. He's been living here on his own terms for the better part of three decades. And the secret to his success is knowing how to read the forest. This looks like a good spot. I see a bunch of downed trees right there. Last night, a giant windstorm blew through the area, leaving behind a giant opportunity to clean up. And how was it for you guys in that big storm? It was windy. But our cabin stayed all good. Yeah. good. Let me just show you what I'm seeing right here. Yeah, some of this stuff, it, see how that's solid? It's, it's a little bit rotten on the outside, but it's solid inside. Yeah. Hey, basically, this is money laying on the ground to going away fast, like, because it rots fast. Right. So if you can identify ones that are still good enough, then you can saw this up and sell it. You see these gorgeous pines you got here? Yeah. I mean, that's a valuable tree. That's worth several hundred dollars. Gotcha. If you learn how to extract what you need to pay your taxes and pay your bills from your land and you can sustain it and keep it going forever, you'll always have resources coming in. Well, we like the idea of being able to sustain ourselves. So. It's so important. That's what I want to help you with so that you can keep this land forever, you know? Let's see if we can start sawing some of this up. Yeah, Alrighty. let's do it. Have you failed trees much before? No, not much. Well, let me teach you how. That's one of the lessons you got to learn. That what you don't cut on the tree is what controls how it falls. And so I would cut a, what I call the face cut. It's the part in the direction you want it to fall. Your second cut intersect it so you can take out a slice. It looks like a piece of watermelon. I'm just going to stand here and be ready to, to help you, OK? So. OK. Harrison's a little bit afraid of that noisy thing, but I'm going to teach him how to do it and how to do it right. Drop your motor even more. There you go. Now you're talking. That's good. Now back out of the way. Good job. Hey. Let's work this one up, and then we'll get you to get a bigger one. Harrison is on a roll, harvesting his own green gold. Which way do you think it's going to fall? Looks like it might fall in line with that sycamore tree. Sounds good. I bet you can do it. Thank you. Just this morning, he and Ashley have harvested nearly half a dozen trees from their land, which can bring in $400 a cord for firewood. We got that loaded down. <laughs> Look what we've done over here. Let's check that out. By clearing this out and, and taking the cold trees out, they'll grow at least 20% faster. Wow. Well, I'm glad we're learning this. Yeah, yeah glad to teach it. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff to yeah. know. We should get, get chopping so we can sell some of this. Crack the whip. Pay yeah. some bills. Let's... The team heads back to the sawmill 
to finish the job using Eustace's gas-powered log splitter. Wait a minute, hey, hey, stop. Look. But when they arrive, they discover that last night's windstorm left even more damage in its wake. Oh, no. That storm just tore the roof up. There it go. Yeah, th that does not look good. Wow. Branches right through the roof. Oh, man. We're going to have water pouring through that roof. Oh, that's a big old hole. It's already gotten this bell soaked. This hay is what the horses depend on. The crop is supposed to last the horses another five months. Looks like one over here, too. And another one. It's wet right here, too. It's going to ruin all this hay. And while the hay can withstand a little moisture, it won't survive another rainstorm. So Eustace can't wait to make the repairs. Try to walk right on top of the nailers. And luckily, he has a good crew standing by. Tent is slick. Be careful. What do you see up there? This looks real bad, Eustace. Oh, no. What's the damage look like on the other side there? Uh, I see at least a few holes. While tin roofs are more durable than most, they're difficult to patch. The best fix is to add a new underlayer of corrugated metal. See, basically we need to pry up these two nails to get this piece up underneath. You always have to shingle it over so that the water just keeps going down. Falls and so down. we'll try pulling this out. Now this should go up underneath there. We have to get it up to where it sits on top of the, the other nailer. See, now it doesn't matter if yeah. it leaks, because it'll leak onto this piece of metal, and then it'll just keep on going down. Perfect. All nail holes have to be caulked to make the gaps watertight. Yeah, just get them good. Really push it down in there, push it down in the hole. You want that water just to shed off of it. We've got to get up there and get that biggest one. That rain could be coming in any time, and I don't want that hay to get wet. That's yeah, right over sure. that big bale of hay. We're going to have to rope you up on that other side. You see how steep it is? The hardest job is still ahead, to fix the steepest side of the roof. I've got a lot of experience uh, roping up and being up in trees and on buildings, and there's nothing that you can allow to distract you. You sure you got me? Oh, yeah, I got you. All right. You doing all right over there, Harrison? Yeah. With the roof repair complete. Woo! Ready to come up! They've avoided the double blow. Come on up. Of another mountain storm. All right. All right. Do we get it? I think it's looking pretty good. Hopefully that water will stay off that hay now. I bet you got them. And I got all the holes on, on this side, so. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be good. Woo. <laughs> good job, team. Thank you. Really nice to have y'all's help. Y'all have done an excellent job, not just on this roof, but everything we've worked on. Well, you've helped so much with us, so we're, we're glad to help you. It's nice to be able to take what I've spent my whole life learning and give them a foundation for it. Very good. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Be safe. It's just a really cool trade because they want to learn the old mountain man ways, and I enjoy teaching them. After seeing the grit they showed, I can see them helping me into my older age, so I would really like it if they decide to stay with me.